welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a floss tube video for you today. For those of you who are on my channel for my other content like hauls and things, um, this is where I talk about cross stitching, crafting, knitting, all the things. Um, and I have my homemade pumpkin spice because I can't have Starbucks. It's got too much sugar in it, so I make my own. But it's delicious. So I have a lot of shopping, apparently, to show you. Not a whole lot of stitching. I mean, there's stitching, but not a lot. And actually, I need to show you some knitting. But let's get to the stitching, and then I'll go get the knitting. So what have I been working on? I have... Oh, I still have a dangling needle. Guys, just don't, don't be a lorry, okay? Take care of your stuff. I am not taking this out because I'm not done with the red yet. So I've been doing little stuff um, to get ready. So September next week is Sampler September. And I will show you what's going to happen in Sampler September when I get to that. But stitching wise for August, I have been super busy, but I stitched this. This is Darling and Whimsy Designs. It's the squirrel. I just pulled from a skeins of floss. This is some kind of green. There's a brown here. I know that brown, the light brown is ochre. And this is some DMC. And yeah, don't ask me colors. This orange, I think is, yeah, don't know. I don't know. I have a, a wad, for lack of a better term, like a ring of like cast off floss from finished projects and I leave it hanging for little stuff and I just grab colors so I don't really pay too terribly much attention I'm like oh I need a green I like that green you know I just pull it off of the leftovers because it's not enough to put back into circulation because I couldn't do a whole project but there's enough to do little stuff but I'm obsessed with this and I can't wait I'm going to finish it on <laughs> this from the Dollar Tree. And if you see here, I took off, there was a sign, like a um, piece of fake leather that's still, I think, thankful on it with two tacks holding it on. And I'm gonna put some burlap behind this and then put this in the middle of the big acorn because this has all the acorns. And then I bought some more decorative um, tacks to put it on there. So I love buying like, this is from the Dollar Tree to finish cross stitches with. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So I finished that um, this week, actually. This is going to be a Prairie Schooler Santa. It's just gonna be Santa's head and he's holding a Christmas tree. I don't have the chart with me, but it's one of the little ornament ones. I believe it's only gonna be t marginally wider. Like that's his shoulder here and his hands will be here and then his head is up here so it's a little tiny ornament this ornament is my september ornament that i'm working on now because sampler september i'm trying to get all this little stuff done so i can focus on getting that sampler done in september so i'm working on my september ornament which i should have done this weekend um and i'll show you my august one that's finished and i think July, one of the other ones I finished. But so these have been working on. This fabric is just a piece of scrap fabric that I purchased at Stitch North. And she had little sample bags. I think it's Edinburgh, but I'm not 100% sure on that either. But they're just little off cuts. And then they she surges them. And so I can try. But these are perfect little, I think it's 36 count. And it's perfect just to do little ornaments on. And I can probably get two more small stitches on this one piece of fabric. And I'm leaving it in the Q-snap because clearly I'm still working on it. Uh, the main piece I worked on is There Is Always Room by Maximum Cross Stitch, our friend Ellen Reed. I need to trim this fabric down because there is a lot of excess on here. But at this point, why? Um, that house, she big, guys, but she's finished. Other than I need to put some of the gray up here on top of the smokestacks. That is all that needs to happen on this house. I'm starting over here. This is a planting urn, and there will be a matching one over here. But I got the house done this month, and between my schedule, 
here let's do our let's do our um our thumbnail i don't know if this is a mess do you think i should put this in the thumbnail here we'll do that yes so she's a big she's a big house um i do have this pattern with me so what I'm working on are these two urns right here that will hold these big plants. Then I have that. I mean, there's a fair amount to do. And I think in here, I'm going to put my name, my last name, because she gives you an entire alphabet charted. So you can, I mean, that's amazing. Here, see, uh, there's a whole chart of the whole alphabet and I can make it fit in here. I'll just get some graph paper out and chart it to fit in that box. I think I want to have it say my family name. So there, and then in the two little boxes up here, I will put my initials and the year I finished it. But I think getting that house done this month with the amount of busy I am, um, I will show you my mistake. She's She gained a little weight. I have an extra row on either side. So yeah, that's fun. I just fixed it. I fudged the foundation here. Nobody will know, and Ellen won't care. I'm very certain of it. Oh, and I guess it's okay to show the back, and that's the back of my work. I try not to carry my threads, but only because I don't want to see them through, not because I care if my back is messy, because I don't. I mean, you'll see little knots. Sometimes I'll get a knot and not realize it, and then I just move on. So yeah, that's what I've been working on. That's pretty much it. My month has been super busy. But we're calmed down now with Pelotonia being over and I worked a whole bunch of concerts. Um, she is being stored in this bag that I made and I have two more to show you today that I made. I do like these bags a lot. I got the pattern from Elizabeth Ann Tan Stitch. What I don't necessarily love for a large project is when you put your floss in here, like I have a big wad of floss. It's a lot of colors. It's a little bumpy. But other than that, I really enjoy this project bag. So that's kind of what I've been stitching on. Well, I have some finishes, I suppose. I've stitched on those as well. Oh, let me go grab my knitting. Okay, I'm back. So when I was at Stitch North Retreat, um, Caroline put, had there, this uh, sampler September kit up that was she was selling. So I ordered it. Of course, I ordered it in bits and pieces because I just can't be, you know, responsible adult. But I ordered the bag and this is like a wedge tote. I've shown you this before and I showed you the yarn and it's for striped sem striped timber. So this. Ooh, let me get my knitting needle. I got my DPN, guys. Double points. I knit on double points, socks and things. So this yarn matches the floss for Sampler September. Um, oh, hi, hi. Yeah, hi, okay. I have a Wellington here. Can, can I have my yarn? It's attached, yeah, 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 it's attached, okay. That's not sit on my desk. Thank you. Anyway, the floss, I mean, the yarn matches the floss pack. Timber Yarn Co. made this. You can get it from evertote.ca. If she has any left, I don't know. But I don't care for socks. I mean, I love socks. I don't care for knitted socks. I think I have a weird, like, aversion. I remember my grandma used to make us slipper socks, and I hated them growing up. And, the, the, like, even just squeezing this, the thought of walking on it does not appeal to me. So I'm making mittens. So here's where the little thumb goes. I got a free pattern from Tin Can Knits off of Ravelry. Um, I mean, it's very basic. I make mittens, but it's easy. So, but this is, I just did follow her formula for them. Now, I was working a couple concerts and part of what I had to do was sit up in a, the press box and listen for radio calls for wheelchairs. That was it, and it was super slow. So I've almost knit my two mittens, and they are a matching pair. 
So I, this was a sock set. So as long as you started from the same end with the same color, it's a matching, the stripes line up. If it didn't, I wouldn't care, but it does. Um, so I'm about at the same spot. I need to, hi, hi. I need to do some measuring, but this was, this goes with the um, sampler September and that I bought. Um, but I, I, you know, because I work full time and all my other activities, so, and I'm starting pottery, I wasn't gonna have time to get my socks or mitten done in a timely manner. So I started working on them now so that I can hopefully have these done by September. So, and I'll have some extra yarn left. I'm a weirdo. I keep my yarn cakes in socks so they don't go everywhere. But I should have some yarn left to go into my scrappy blanket. So there's that. Hi. And then I will show you the other stuff in a minute. But where I have to show you now are finishes. So like I said, I was working on some small stuff. So I did stitch this. This was a hands-on design. I got the pattern as a freebie in a purchase from, I think the kitten stitcher. Yes. And I think it's adorable. I ended up ordering the button from Job. Jobco, just another button company, because that's what it called for. But it was a free pattern like from 2013. And then I used this fabric. I have a couple of things with that and I just glued it together. Oh, hi, 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 yes, I know. Um, so this is my August Christmas ornament. Guys, I'm gonna have 12 ornaments this year. So that is August. And then I hadn't finished this one. I can't remember what month it was from, but I had stitched this one and I bought this like tag label thing at Hobby Lobby on clearance for like two bucks. I didn't even have to repaint it. I just, I took some of that double-sided sticky tape, the archival stuff that's acid-free, put it down. I stuck this down and then these are just some buttons I glued to it. So these two are done this month. This was already stitched, but I finished it this month. And then I stitched and finished this one. Would you stop, please? I talked to him like he can hear me. He is deaf, just in case anybody needs to know. And then I had finished this one already, but I hadn't fully finished it. And so I did. I took, this was from Stitch North this year. I used the same backing and I just use a mat board. And then I, this is just some fluff um, yarn that I glued on and I glued the little buttons on. Yeah, I'm king glue here. So I have three finished ornaments this month, fully finished. Um, okay, I'm talking because I have a bunch to finish. Okay, hi, yes, I know. Here, why don't you get down? That's a good plan. Yes. Um, okay, so that is really all the crafting that I've been able to do this month because also I released my planner. And so that's been a little time consuming. I'm not mad about it in the least littlest bit. And I'll show it to you here in a second if you don't know about it because it's been all over my social medias. But just in case. Um, and now we're gonna get into purchases. So first off, here's my planner. It is available at evertote.ca if you're not in the United States. Um, she will ship international. It's gonna be pricey. Um, and I'm trying to find some options for like the UK and stuff. So we'll see what I come up with. But this is the planner. There are 11 free patterns in here and three sections for retreats as well as your yearly. This is mine, so I'm already starting to write in it, but as your yearly calendar and there is a whole hi there is a whole video that goes over what exactly is in that so purchases what have I been buying a lot apparently a lot so first we'll start with magazines um I do not subscribe to any magazines I can tell you that I don't I love the Just Cross Stitch for these two seasonal magazines, and that's about it. I'm not a fan of all the back stitching and some of the patterns, but I definitely love 
the Halloween edition and I love the Christmas edition. And so I ordered this on 123 Stitch. I know there's a lot of videos out showing um, the patterns, but you get all of these patterns. And they're just littles, which I love. So I ordered this from 123 Stitch as well as, I think this is the summer, I think so, of the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitch. I like this magazine a lot. Um, yeah, so I picked this up as well. So I grabbed these from 123 Stitch a little bit ago. Hi. And then I went to my local, I'm gonna need you to stop please, thank you. My local Stitchy store and I picked up the Christmas one today. And Kate Stitch Designs, who is in my planner, she has a pattern in here if I can find it. On the cover maybe or not. I know it's in here because I saw it. Oh, it's right here. And I'm gonna stitch this. Look at those stars. So on page 11, if anybody wants to stitch it with me, that's gonna be my next ornament for October. So I love these magazines. Like I said, I don't subscribe to any because I don't need um, a ton of magazines. I'm, I've got plenty here. So I did that and then I ordered all the patterns. I did not order all the patterns, but I got a fair number of patterns. Okay. So, at... Hold on. Let's give him a treat. Okay. Not here. Oh, here they are. This is what he wants, in case anybody needs to know. There. There you go. Eat your treats. Yes. There you go. Except for it's really cat food mixed with the little treats. And he's not going to be happy with that, I can tell. But he'll have to just deal with it. Let me put this away. Okay, so when I was, when I went to Stitch North, you can order a kit. And my kit this year came with this bag, or I purchased it, questionable at this point. I just apparently spend like I'm a Rockefeller. But I ordered to go with this kit the floss that goes with the design. It's all Roxy floss. And I ordered the piece of fabric to go with this piece of design. So I've had that was, but it stopped recording. So I ordered this kit. Caroline picked out this bag because she is the best. And apparently I was supposed to pick up the pattern when I was there and I, I didn't. So I had to contact her and they mailed it to me. But the first is sing, um, Sing After the Storm. This is part of a larger um, sampler, and it's from 1897 Schoolhouse Samplers. She's taking this huge sampler and she's breaking it up. So this is piece number one. And Carolyn's idea is to do one, two, three, there'll be five parts, and I'll, we can make a bag. And each part, you know, we'll have one, and the bigger one goes in the middle, and then you'll use some fabric. So I have the first part, which I need to start, clearly. So the second part just came out, which is called Bloom Wildly. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I'm going to do these on all different fabrics. So I ordered the second part, right? Because I have the first part. And then some of the colors were the same and some were not. So this is the Bloom Wildly expansion pack. So it took all the colors that are in here plus the colors that are in here to do these two parts so far, which I need to get on this. Maybe these will be my January start. I don't know. Oh my God, these flowers are so pretty. You can also just do these as a one-off. You don't have to do all five, but I will order all five because I'm a team player. And I have to remember that I ordered 40 count fabric for these. So I will put this in here. I need to cut another piece of fabric. And I will tell you that Caroline has mentioned it. It should be on her website. You'll want to 
stitch these in the center because all the patterns aren't the same. And then I believe they're coming, um, the 1897 Schoolhouse Samplers is gonna come out with a border to kind of make everything the same size. So it's just a trust the process. Um, and I will trust the process and this will be a kitted up project here soon. So I got that. Then, um, I want to take part in the Stitchy for Witchy because um, it's important to support the members of our community. And I know she's going through some health crisis right now. And so I bought this pattern. I did buy the PDF so I could print it off. Um, the Master of Macabre and it's Edgar Allan Poe. And look at that. He has a raven on his head. There's a cat on his shoulder. It's a very cool pattern. So I bought the pattern and I reached out to the lovely Hannah at Evertote and she picked out a piece of fabric for me. This is in a 32 count and the color is catnap, but she had Daniel cut a very specific piece. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Caroline. I love them. Thank you, Hannah, with some good dirty muck on it, which is what I wanted. Something, so it had a really good, and they're so good about that. Just email them. But I really want to stitch it right where that dark and stormy is at. So that fabric. And then I ordered, she, um, Hannah did a floss conversion for me from DMC to Roxy Floss. So we have Dutiful. We have Irony. And the thing is, this pattern calls for two shades of red and then some black to white ombre. Uh, carbon, which is, a, these cats. And then charcoal is the black. We have um, snowy owl for the white. And then the red is inappropriate and Lucille. So this is the whole, oh, did I say this one? No, I dropped one and anchors away. So I need to put these in the right order of dark to light because I have to then figure out for myself. Here we go. And then I bought these labels at Hobby Lobby. I put some tape because I want to start. This is from Caroline. She's a genius if I haven't mentioned it. Um, labeling my floss packs or my kitted up floss stuff because... Yeah, it, I mean, that makes sense, right? How do I know? Half the time I don't even remember until I go through and start matching things up. So for this, I have the name of the chart and all of its floss together, right? Because that's important. And then I will bag all Right, I keep stopping and I don't know what's happening. Um, I will bag all of this up together and I will start this in October. This is my, oops, which may start a little sooner, but we'll see. But I would like to start this for spooky season and she's a genius with the tagging your floss. So look at that, all oh, those colors on this fabric. Guys, don't sleep on Roxy floss, fabric and floss colors. It's just everything. I love it. So I got to find a bag for that. And by find a bag, I mean dig one out because I'm sure I have one. I need one. So I ordered that. Okay. Also from Evertote, I picked up this color here. This is a 36 count night owl. And it's like the darkest blue, almost black. And it might supposedly, it could be black. And I think I already know what I'm going to stitch on this. I get the quarter yard because then I can have extra. So this is a quarter yard. Cats. Anywho, so this is a quarter, a stitcher's quarter. And I love the modeling. I mean, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? I just love it. I love everything Carrie makes. She is all that in a bag of chips. So I'm just gonna put this in with my storage of fabric. I have some bags. I don't have a ton, but I have enough. Um, I got part 10 
of this is Tiny Modernist Woodland Christmas. It is a club that I signed up for through Crazy Annie's. So I will have two more coming, uh, 12, 11 and 12, and then we'll be done receiving the charts. I've only stitched five, four, four. Um, so I gotta get on it, but I'm stitching them all on one piece of paper. I mean, on one, on one piece of fabric, but look at Santa. We love him. Oh, I can't wait to get the Santa. So this is num part number 10. And then I ordered, well, I picked up the Harvest Tiny Town. I need to start stitching these. I even have a display piece and I bought fabric for them. So I'm gonna put them all in one bag with the fabric. I'm thinking I can get a couple pieces on the fabric I bought. I went with a 28 count specifically because I want it to fit a certain size. But look what she also does. Like you can just do one. Is, is she on that chart or is that an extra? Oh, I think Halloween frill is a different, it is. So that's a different chart. This is the tiny town and it comes with um, some buttons. So I grabbed, I ordered that, don't ask me where, I don't remember. But I did get this from Keepsakes. This is the um, Anytown by Heart and Hand. And this one includes Keepsakes and Little 310 in its representation of like Mason, Ohio. Which you can make this any town. Obviously, it's called any town. I don't know if these are available. I think I heard that they got a few more in stock, but they may have sold out already. This was a pre order through Keepsake, and I believe next year they will be on the market as, you know, for sale. Um, and then this one just came with. It's my, it's my Dexcom. I just realized it's expired, and so my phone keeps alarming. Uh, I'll fix it. Anyway, so this is available or was available through the Keepsakes shop as a pre-order, but I believe next year it'll be out for regular purchase because that's what they do. Um, I ordered this from 123 Stitch. It's the Tudor B. I just love these and I love this whole, I love the blue flower. I love all of her designs. They are so fun. So I definitely want to stitch that. Um, I think I got it from one, two, three stitch. I don't, I don't remember. And then Sampler September by Maximum Cross Stitch. This is called um, September's Revenge. And I will tell you, she just released some thief charts. So this is like a bird stealing a pumpkin. She has three different charts out. One of them is a monkey stealing a pineapple. There is a bear stealing honey. And there's another one, I can't remember. But, so this is what I'm stitching in September. And this is a Sampler's Revenge. So I ordered this chart. And that yarn that I got is matching all these colors. So then of course, I had to buy the yarn. In this was not part of the kit. I bought it separately, but each of these little mini skeins is representing one of the colors in the um, stripes and the socks. And there's also a coordinating floss. So she has a striped towel that I'm gonna I'm gonna knit up. I don't know. I don't know if Carolyn has any of this yarn left, but it's very squishy. I can tell you that. I love it. Um, and so they're all named like Brown Bear, Lake Huron. But the thing is, um, each of this equals 100 grams. So I need to wrap up, I need to cake up each little color and I'm gonna make a striped towel. Pray for me that I get this all done in September, okay? So we have September's Revenge. I think I'll use, I made a bag. Right? Isn't that fun? I have one that I'm mailing to Hannah in England, which I need to get that out in the mail next week. But I made this one for myself. So I think I will put September's Revenge in here. I think so. I think that's what's gonna happen. So then I need to get the floss 
pack it out, which is right here. And I will put a label with it because that's what I do now. I'm a labeler. So these colors, right? Uh, oh, aren't they everything? Like that green. I love green. So there's, these are all the colors in the yarn. Both yarns I bought. And then here's the matching floss. Um, yeah, these are so pretty. And I have some oh, lawn and order. They are so clever with their names. So this will go with September's Revenge. I should have enough floss plus some extra um, to do maybe some of the thieves. And I'll show you why I don't quite love this. I put my floss in there and then it kind of bunches out a little bit. I mean, it's fine. But I think this is pretty. So we have that. That is my September start. And I did make a coordinating thread bed to go with it so that I can have all my needles lined up. And when I need to change colors of floss, I don't have to like take it off the spool all the time. I will just leave it on the needle if there's enough to reuse and leave the needles on here. That is from Carrie. That's her 10 to 12 colors coordinator that she told me about and I'm doing it because Carrie said so, so it's gotta happen. All right, oh. I just broke a nail. Well, that was unfortunate. I'll fix it later. Did that. Okay. Then I bought apparently all the floss. I don't know, guys. I needed some fall colors. So I ordered uh, rhymes with orange and uranium glass. And that's his pretty true color. So I wanted some fall color. I gotta rip this off, it hurts, ouch. Okay, then I don't really have a lot of like the brights. I have a lot of naturals and neutrals. So I ordered from the Floss Club, I got the August of 22 Floss Club collection, which I love in all the greens and purples. And then I also got the June, which is more pastels of the same but I think these all go together. So I ordered those and I believe they were marked down to, one of them was 15 and one was 19, which is a discount. So we'll go with it. And then I picked up, oh, that's mine. Okay, these are August Floss of the Month colors. I'll take these out because all this has to get put away. But they're so pretty. Oh, look at that green. What is that? Tuff. Oh, turf. Bud, turf. And these do go into regular circulation unless they're one of a kind. Knockout, smoked salmon, and piggy bank. So that was the August. Look at these two together. This was the August colors for Roxy Floss of the Month Club that I belong to. And then these are September, which I'm digging because they're kind of getting more into some brighter colors, which I'm debating switching to the brights or adding the brights, questionable. But, oh, look at that color. I don't know, I just love a good neutral, but look at these, red, white, and blues. Like, isn't that everything? I love this blue. It is, Dutang, Off Topic, Fuji, Yellow, Delicious, and Early Harvest. Ooh, apples, Fuji and Yellow Delicious. So that's the colors that came in the September Floss of the Month Club, which I love. So these will get put away soon. And then the rest of the floss I ordered, these are one of a kind, I believe. Um, I believe. I'm not 100% sure that they are not going to put some of these into regular rotation. But I know that these were done specifically for Halloween. 
Um, these match the Halloween bag that Caroline just put out. Look at that. That is batty. That is the blackest of black. Like, I don't see anything else in there. Uh, gargoyle. Scary Berry. Like Frankenberry. Somebody was having cereal. Party, uh, partly cloudy. Oh, look at the variegation in that. Scarecrow, which I love. And Ghosted, which is a little bit of a yellowy color. So I'm keeping these together as calling them Halloween. And then this is Creeping It Real. Oh, look at that purple. And then the greens and this yellow. It's like a highlighter. I love it. So these are all going to go on to a floss ring uh, labeled Halloween. So I won't put them in the regular, or into the regular floss. I went crazy with the floss, guys. I don't know what happened, but it, it did happen. Um, the last thing I made, I made this Christmas one. This is the exact fabric that Elizabeth Ann used, and I sure did go and buy it because I wanted it, I love it. I don't know if it's all in the right order that she used. I know she put this on the outside and that was her binding, but, so then I got the little um, toy soldiers. And then over here, the bigger toy soldiers, you got your pocket and your zip. I love these. So I need to put something Christmassy in this, in here. And that's everything I think I, nope, lies. Well, I made this bag to house. Oh, hold on. I bought a new lamp for travel. It's the um, Daylight Go. I think I showed it to you already. But it's a travel, a travel light, right, that very bright and it's magnetic or I'm sorry yeah magnifying which you can do it like that or not but the reason I got it is it folds up completely flat and when I fly or travel it goes in my suitcase better and I just made this bag but I think I need look at that with the cats I think I need to make another one a little wider because it doesn't quite I mean the, the base goes in it I'm not saying it doesn't but it's a little snug and it took me like an hour to make so that will keep it padded and then the charger and the cord I just slip in here and this will go into a suitcase and take up much less room than my other one and I can't I can't craft without it I can't stitch without it um, and then I picked up some other stuff um, I ordered from, oh, Weeks Dye Works. This is like their Christmas little pack. It's called Noel. And I thought that would be really cute to stitch up like a uh, cartouche from one of Jacob Mo of Modern Folk Embroidery and do it in just this variegated and make an ornament. So I grabbed that. I ordered from Sulky. I wanted the glowy. This glows in the dark, right? It looks pastel, but it glows. And I really want to stitch something Halloween-y in this. So I ordered, and the only place I could really find it was on the Sulky website. So I got the glowy pack. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six colors that all glow in the dark. Right? Fun. And then I saw this and it was on clearance and I'm like, holy frozen, I need that. So I get a little sparkle. I love all these colors. And the whole thing was like $8. Um, oh, and you get a download your free designs at sulky.com. So there's a pattern that this goes with and I get the pattern for free. So there's that. And then I just picked up for free shipping, really, a red and black. I like the sulky black for coverage and who doesn't need a good red. So I grabbed that floss. I should not need any more floss for a very long time, guys. And then I just have random stuff in here. So let's see. I went to, um, it's a called Magpie. It's an antique vintage shop and these were two bucks. I'm like, I need them to hang plants. That's not the exciting thing. 
Um, I got these beads. Look at how fun these are. Somebody took a 90s necklace with glass beads and tore it apart. But I think these are perfect. Like I love this amber color. And then these are like a ceramic hand painted situation. And I want to make some counting bead, counting pins out of those. So I got that there. And then I picked up, it's all just wooden spools. Empty wooden spool. I thought they were super fun. These are old, 29 cents. So I grabbed those at the end. It's a... Uh, an antique vintage home goods. It's a little market, so they have a lot of different sellers in there. Um, I ordered on Amazon these bar magnets so that I can hang the magnets on things and then put the magnetic washers on the back of other things and trade them out. So I grabbed those on Amazon. I picked up size 28 needles because when I use 40 count I prefer 28 so I grabbed some of those I finally got a snag nab it because I needed it so I bought that today um I ordered when I ordered the button from job co for that design I picked up the black cat the black cat button for just gosh knows what I just wanted this little peppermint and a bat for a Halloween town. I think I'm gonna put this on Halloween town and maybe get these or just for like, you know, to put on things. And, oh, and I picked these. This is the pins I picked up at Hobby Lobby for finishing. And that is everything that I have for the last month. Sorry for all the interruptions. I hope you enjoy. And I will talk with you later. Bye.